Hello everyone, today we'll be continuing our Road to Conquer series. Uh, but this day we'll be showcasing a Season 7 blue deck. So thanks to Darth Plato for giving me the template for this. Um, he's been using it and playtesting it and he's um, doing quite well. So basically I'm not copying exactly what he built. But to some extent I just edit, I edited like bits and pieces just to fit my playstyle. And you might want to do that as well when you do this deck. Alright, so to look into it, um, blue deck is mainly very relevant every season. But now there are some changes that happened in this blue deck. So let's look into it and what we can do to make it work this season. So you have here first our Thor deck. Um, let me just fix this. Um, I don't need this. I don't need this. I want this. Um, the skills doesn't really matter. I can't really comment on this because if you don't have the uh, other skills, like because the, they are paid, so you don't really need to. But for the basics, basics of the deck, this is what you want for Thor. So you want one copy of everything here up until Thor, Stormbreaker, and Thunder Fulmination. So the idea of the end game, most of your end game, will always be using Stormbreaker on either Thor, Thor with her mod, or Thor or Stormbreaker with Asp, or Stormbreaker with any other unit that you have that has a lot of shield. So you can get that uh, very easily um, with Thor. Uh, sorry, with with Hulk. In, if you get Hulk with, with Asp and all, right? So, um, one more thing that I can mention here is, um, if you're not yet familiar, Hermod and Thor ability is very strong. Um, Hermod gives assault, uh, has assault ability that gives the Asgardian character to its right plus five power and let them take up action immediately. So, basically giving the the Asgardian on. Um, the Asgardian unit on his right assault as well. So basically, that's what it, this means. So you can use her mod and a buffed up Thor with Stormbreaker together. So you can make use of Stormbreaker in assault phase. So that's the idea here. You can use that end game. Um, another thing, uh, and we also want a Thunder Fulmination since we have a lot of big armors, right? Giving the armor, converting the ar uh, converting the armor into power is very strong end game unit uh, end game power. So here in the first two slots, uh, first two, you might want to change one of this into a shield, uh, as guardian shield, as you can give this to Okoye. So, but um, I'm not um, having success with that, so I'm using this. <laughs> so, so this is my take on it. And then let's go into the next character. So we have Spider-Man. What we have Spider-Man here for is basically Mysterio Suit and Silk. So um, in Darth Plato's build, he has two Mysterio Suit. Um, but I'm not having much luck with that. So I'm just using one. And then Silk here is another early game target you want to have. So previously, Silk gains armor every time a spider verse unit dies but after the change she now gains armor and power whenever a guardian so not necessarily a spider verse now is guardian so she's more flexible and at four star she's very formidable even in late game right so if you can get silk early good if you don't get silk early that's fine what you want to be looking for normally in the early game is Asp and Frost Beast. So the two of them are what I think is the carry of this deck. Silk is just uh, good to have. So we still keep four and then Web Snare gives us the opportunity to attack first by Web Snaring our opponents. And then we also have Ven Mysterio here just in case you're going in the Silk route to, to give you more units. And then I just have one off of these cards here. Um, you can decide on what you want to pick here. I haven't used them much yet. So, I'm not sure. But this is, um, I'm just following the template of Darth Plato. Um, he has two superior Spider-Man, but I only have one. So, I'm keeping it here. Next is we have the um, 
Ragnarok deck from Hela. So we have a lot of one-off cards in the start. Um, these cards are not really needed. Like I said, they're just there for filler. What I mentioned earlier, we want Frost Beast out. Why do you want Frost Beast out? He is very powerful. Uh, 10. So what you want normally is to combine Frost Beast with the Ho Fund. As you as I uh, as a change goes, Ho Fund can now be equipped only to Guardian units, and it perfectly goes with Frost Beast. He doesn't die as fast, and he has very strong power that can give you the edge in early game. Bewitching spell is here just because we have annoying uh, Mystic deck running around. First, I'm not sure why this is here, but um, based on the copy of um, Darth Plato's deck, um, I'm keeping it. Same with trading pieces. I'm not sure why you want a lot. I normally would put one, but he has two. So maybe I'll just put one. <laughs> and then Locust Stepper. And then the other thing that you might want to go endgame is like Frost Beast plus Luffy plus Stormbreaker. Right? So these are other options. And then Enchantress is here just for other another mystic counter okay and then the next one on our neutral deck we have here okoye on uh darth plato's build he's using four okoye but it's not working for me because i'm having a hard time to make okoye die first to make use of the her ability which gives plus power to all your guardian units as last word skill but she i can't make her die first so i'm only putting one um, she's still good as one off in the early game, but um, normally just replace him. And another one you want, you might want, is a Taskmaster. Taskmaster is also a good card to have. Um, his innovation invocation ability gives plus four, plus eight, and plus sixteen. Um, Taskmaster can easily get up to one hundred plus or more if you have the right um setup. Not a priority, but always good to have. And urgent trick as well because since we um. Uh, we will be rushing to shop 6 in later games. And then we have Baron Zero. I'm not using. I might just put one again. Um, these are just from the template. And then um, Resolute Assault. Um, it's just a fairly good card. Gives you that extra HP. And then Wonder Man is a new card. That um, after being attacked, your Guardian units gets plus 2 power. Um, most of the time... He's just there just because he can help, but I haven't been relying on him too much. And we also have Thanos and Hyperion just in case you needed a Thanos-Hyperion combo endgame. If you're not familiar with that, what you do is put Thanos in and put Hyperion in. And then when you snap, you have extra units that Hyperion will summon if in case you needed it as a last resort. Alright, so that is the um, deck explanation for now. Um, thanks again to Darth Plato for giving me this template. Um, and let's see how it goes. Um, showcase. I'll see you guys um, when we get the match. And I'm back. We're back. So we have two um, conquerors, two masters, and one black gold, I believe. Let's see how we can make this work. So um, we're using Asp as our trigger point as i mentioned earlier i'm not sure if i mentioned it um asp is one of our key units that will be wielding the stormbreaker in the end so building asp early is a good uh good strategy and we are gonna lose. That's a uh, plus two power already from that unit. Eh, yeah, see? That plus two oh, power is started. all he needs for the win. So, um, like, since um, Asp is what we want to build, we will be staying in Shop 2. Shop 3, I mean, because there are a lot of other cards that we are looking for in Shop 2. Shop 3, which is um, Frost Beast, Hofund, um, Silk, and Taskmaster. So, this is our second round. Let's see if it works. Okoye, please die.
Okay, there's the dead Okoye. Boom. And we're taking a lot of damage. Ouch. At 7 HP. Oh no. Mm, two straight losses with big damages too. Um not good for us. Um I kinda want both. Let me get that taskmaster first. Sell this. Put this in. Buy the Pegasus. Put the Pegasus in. This one's for you. And then lock so we can get Frost Beast next round. We got this round, I'm pretty sure. For Xandar! Ah. Okay. Good. Oh, it's I'm not sure anymore because this will grow. Yeah. That horse. Uh. Over before it. So we got three losses now. An Asgard Unite would be great. And no Asgard Unite, but we have Mighty Power. This, this, refresh, um, you. I'm always a step ahead. Okay, this is the best that I can do right now. I don't know if I'm gonna lose. I hope I don't. Because these are pretty beefed up units now. Ah. And we are good! Yes! So next round, hopefully we can 4-star something. So that we can already rush to shop 5 or shop 6. And then look for Stormbreaker, which is our primary win con. Buy this for filter. Refresh that. Okay, we're getting this. Uh, upgrade. Upgrade. Seventy-two power is okay. Um, if we get back to back, what will that give me? Will save world. End of Spider-Man. Defeat a Spider Verse. And times Cosmo two the help? stats. Nothing. Cosmo will save world. Nothing is really good right now, My except for probably this. Here. But uh, not something Shut I really am happy about. How to do this? We're playing against Mystic. Nope, Spider Verse. Oh, it's Mystic. Yeah, Mystic, Mystic. Told you I could do it. Uh. And that will summon a devil. Okay, good. Um, thank you to Over Taskmaster. It now we are rushing to six now. Let's get this. 
Oh uh, no, I can't go to six yet. That's too bad because um not helpful. I'm always a step ahead. There's an urgent shrink. I want that resolute assault. Is guardian. Hmm. Do I have money? No, I don't have money. We'll use this if in case we lose. We have backup. Hmm. My talents are wasted here. Ooh, it's a lightning deck. No, why did you do that first? Ah! Please kill um Thor. Please kill. Uh, no, no, Odin. Please kill Odin. Okay, never mind. Uh, there's no way for him to generate any more lightning, so we're a little, we're, we're safe. And we didn't die. And he used urgent shrink, and we wasted hours, but that's fine. At least we're still in the running. And then we are playing against GOTG. I don't know the build, but let me click this. Get the hawk. Refresh I'm once. Um, there is Asp. Tell. Put this in. Get me that extra Asp. Mm. Thanos. Okay. Haha, <laughs> I'm double snapping to ensure my third place. And might not be good for me. Oh, it's cool. Over before it started. That's cool, that's cool. Now we don't really need Thanos. This one is good, hopefully. I'm always a Thunder Fulmination and Web Snare. I really couldn't get it. I really can't get it. I don't know why. I I'm looking for Stormbreaker. It's not appearing. So hopefully these two can do wonders. Okay. Where is my Thornbreaker? Let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Let me win. Let me win. Aww. 
Not for long. Okay, that's a dead unit. Good. That's another dead unit. Good. Nice. It's working. It's working. And then where is... Who needs smashing? Hmm, not buying the shield. This one's for selling. Get that again. Yo, TG, you web snare that. Give this on you. Um, on you again, of course, because you're big. So that's the idea of your end game most of the time. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I don't like this. Good thing. Thank you for that web snare. And what do you know? We're winning without Stormbreaker. Over before it started. I am Electra. It's kind of weird. It's not what I would have wanted to showcase, but uh, the end game is Web Snare. But uh, I not Web Snare, Stormbreaker. But um, that Thunder Fulmination is also good. So at least now you have an idea like what are your early games, what you are looking for your early game, probably some Asp and Taskmaster. So and just choose on your options. Like I mentioned earlier, we have Asp, Taskmaster, um, Luffy and Frostbeast combo and Silk. So you have like four cards to go to. So these are the things that you might want to look into while um, staying in shop 3. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, Season 7 Blue Deck Showcase and I'll see you guys in the next one.